This is your humerus. So if you start at the bottom, right here, this is your medial epicondyle. That is your lateral epicondyle. Right here is your capitulum. This is your trochlea. Right here is your coronoid fossa. This is your radial fossa. If you look up to the top, right here, this is your anatomical neck. It goes all the way around, as you can see, the radial neck, okay? That's, this is your also called your head. This whole thing is also called the head of the humerus. If you look right here, this little thing sticking out, that's called your um, lesser tubercle. And this right there, the other part, is your greater tubercle. Right in between those two is your intertubicular fossa, or called your bicipital groove. Um, this is your surgical neck. Remember, anatomical neck, surgical neck. And then if you look right here, um, this right here is your deltoid tuberosity. So let's turn it around. Remember, anatomical neck, your head of the, the humerus. Then um, down here, we have your olecranon fossa your lateral epicondyle, your medial epicondyle, that little thing sticking out right there is your trochlea. Um, and if you look up here, on the same side of your head is the radial groove, on the opposite side is the deltoid tuberosity. And the way you could determine if this is right from left, if your olecranon fossa is sticking up face forward and your head of the humerus is on the left hand side that means this is your right humerus okay and if you turn it around and say you see the medial epicondyle on the right hand side that means this is your right humerus because it's the right hand side the medial epicondyle is on the left hand side and that means it's your left humerus okay